get these dogs fed, cleaned, and vetted. Vetted? Is that a word? Yeah. There is definitely fun for everyone here at Hovatter. <laughs> Ganaderías como estas se han visto muy perjudicadas en los últimos. Hola. Hola, bebé. Aski. Aski. Our fourth week in lockdown. People across the UK have taken to dancing as part of their daily routine. That is super special. And I know we wanted to say hi to... <laughs> He's been rolling around this morning, so... He is Perp so says hi, cute. everyone. <laughs> Hello to you, Herbie. Thank you, everyone, for watching. So look who it is. I've got Amanda, and who is this? I'm going to stop with the who now. I'm sure you're all like, please stop doing that. Oh, oh he's lying. <laughs> oh, my God, that scared me the best way possible. Live TV, guys. Three, two, one. <laughs> stop it. The explosion of wildfires here locally, plus... No, no I'm meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5. Meow. Oh, the kitty. Happy Global Cat Day, everyone. Just had to show my, my little man, J-Mo, here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so he grumpy. Is. You're so mad. Why are you looking so grumpy? <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> love that. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm not messing with you. Mm -mm. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Beautiful shot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. gosh. Sorry to scream at everyone. That was amazing. Hey, didn't know that was going to happen. Gosh, Watch we have like two seconds in the show. It's going to be warm outside again today. 88 degrees with a high temperature. Get ready for some warm weather tomorrow. Oh, my gosh, guys. That, that was, was awesome. Replay at nine. Meteorologist Francis Payton. Good girl. Yes, you are. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm just talking to Kenzie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this morning, it's Friday. We made it. Kenzie's awake. We're just having fun out here in the Backyard Weather Center. Coming up at 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the ag industry. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Are you getting this? <laughs> At 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the ag industry and how it's affecting our local farms. <laughs> <laughs> so much lick. Well, aren't you cute? Let me give you a little kiss. Oh my Mwah. <laughs> Look at this. Not shy at all. No, no. Come over this way. Come here. Come over this way. All right, that's a nice surprise there. Oh, look, and the family is out. See, someone in the distance there as well. As the WWF suggests, even small... Sorry. As the WWF... Sorry. Good girl. Shh, shh, I know, you're hungry. I'm so sorry. Laura Piper, STV News. Let's go with that one. Are you hungry, my love? Are you hungry? Hey, let's hey. meet today's pet pal. <laughs> hey, this is Kara. She's a mixed breed. She weighs about 47 pounds or more. Uh, she wants to transfer from another shelter. No one told her that she is not a lap dog, and she is just so happy to be with people right now. Yeah. Contact the Capital Air Maine Society if you can give Kara a home. Yeah, She's I think you think sweet. you're a chihuahua or something. Yeah. You got a lot of... <laughs> Perfect. Everything is great here. Nothing to see here. Next time, we're looking for seasonable temperatures. We're more than likely going to, why do you have to do that with the, <laughs> no, oh no, <laughs> Dave, it's very close to you right now, uh, oh Dave, oh yeah. gosh, yeah, it's, looking, it's looking right at you buddy, it's looking right at you, oh hey, that's hey, right. hey, how you doing, no, be careful Dave, I wouldn't, yeah. Who says I'm not an animal lover? Good uh, Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I know it is so windy outside and so cold. You can see those clouds moving in, Jeff. I know. I have to address the obvious right now. We have a couple of dogs behind me, and I'm oh, going to be quiet. Good. But, um, <laughs> That'll keep you warm. Sure. Oh, and tails are exactly, wagging. Exactly, exactly. Now is probably not the time <laughs> to leave your pets outside. Is that Doug? Who, which yeah, one is that? He wanted to come say hi, Jeff. Yes, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Ain't nothing like good love.
Oh, she's headbutting me. Go. Could potentially help people with the infection. Help getting them, uh, help them fight it off. Antibodies from these cows could potentially help fight off the the antibodies from these cows could potentially help people fight off the infection, getting them feeling normal again much more quickly than without. <laughs> not yet. Wait. <laughs> you are not using your listening skills. Just because I want to try to sequence from that shaking shot, uh, raise it up just a little bit. Right, now? <laughs> oh! 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 Yeah! Just hold it like that. You got like it? this? Yep. Just like, just like this. Just like this. Yeah, so it's not going to bite me. No, nope. hold it. Don't let go. Do I have to touch that part too? Yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, I can't hold do it. Hold it. It feels it's just oh, it's so okay. okay, okay. Go. Go, go. Oh, it's moving! It's moving! Okay. okay. Since it's hard to determine which snakes. Okay. <laughs> it did something with his throat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, well, I'm gonna it's, it's gonna squeeze me to death. Is it gonna squeeze? No, it's not. It's, not. it's, 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 it's okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that and yeah. yeah, he's just great. Yeah, no, that is it's it's awesome to see this and just see all the work that you guys put in it and the life skills that you're learning through FFA and that's what is so important about this is kind of teaching the next generation of you know these farmers and these people in agriculture and that's why they wanted to have this here still at the Iowa State Fair. Yeah. Lots of fun things to see there, Whitney. Thanks so much. Maybe a little too much. Somehow feel like I actually was at the Iowa State Fair. Jeez. That was a hungry calf. You have to beat the summer heat somehow, but I'm sure you guys have never seen something quite like this. Meet Mr. Mayhem, the paddle boarding goat. Isn't he a cutie? He likes to get out and do activities with his owner, Alyssa Kelly, a Boise resident who thought it would be fun activity to try with her adventurous goat. Mr. Mayhem is five years old. He's a Nigerian dwarf pygmy goat cross, and he not only paddle <laughs> We love those goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing, but also enjoys hiking and riding in the car. Now, he's only taken two tumbles into the water since his career. <laughs> Bear with me, guys, but he's, he's better at this than I could ever do. He wears a life jacket and goggles, <laughs> you guys. Hmm. Now, a, a British musician has been playing the piano to monkeys at historic sites in Thailand to raise awareness of their hunger. Paul Barton had a bit of a tough crowd to please during the concert, with the audience of macaques tugging on his hair, stealing his music, and as you can see, <laughs> climbing all over the piano. Thailand is seeing a reduction in the number of visitors due to the coronavirus pandemic, which meant there are fewer visitors to feed them and fewer funds to look after them. Well, uh, the monkeys are in fact his latest audience. He previously played Bach Schubert, Chopin and Beethoven for more than a decade to elephants at retirement sanctuaries. The weather, Matt Taylor. Hey, it's Friday. We're going to leave you with some cuteness in the morning. In Crimea, uh, a goat has adopted a baby deer. Oh, my oh there's goodness. a nice shot to open with. <laughs> I'll have to have a chat with our editors about that one. Oh, oh dear. Now, okay. Oh, dear, indeed. I... Cry me a river is what I say. I'm sure this, uh, I'm sure pet deers have, hey, they're you hungry. know, happened okay. before, but this is a first for me. <laughs> yes, right. And they've named the little fawn Silverhoof after a Russian fairy tale <laughs> character. And uh, they are, uh, don't, don't do it again, please, now. <laughs> You've had enough, all right? It's going for it again! All right, that's enough. We're closing out the show. Oh my goodness, really cute though. It looks like a little Bambi. We've got some editors in training this week. Yeah, back to you. Okay, well, uh, we'll sort of break. Michael has a final look at weather coming up. <laughs> Stay
playing with us. <laughs> Well, it looks like we're going to be dealing with mainly cloudy skies, some areas of patchy fog, mist, and drizzle. Oh, it's a total Tuesday. It's a Tuesday in the current household. Dogs. Love them. No, I don't. All right, let's see what's going on out there right now where we are going to be dealing with temperatures in the lower 60s. We've got areas of patchy fog that will continue to um, roll in. That marine layer is going to be a problem. Visibilities are going to continue to drop from time to time. Hey, 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 stop, stop, come over here, come over here, come over here. You're going to have to apologize to the people right now for being, for being a brat. What? No, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that at all. What? No, you can't do that. Get over here. You. Does anyone want a dog or two or three? My goodness. Please. This is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, folks, you are seeing it here on KBTX. All right. I'll now become known as the Birdman of College Station. Hello. How are you? You are really, really being quite friendly. Yeah? What? You must be young. Yes, you are. Yeah. I've got a new friend. I've never, never seen one. I wonder if this one will send me a friendly email. <laughs> All right. Places, other places just don't have. Um, if, if you really want to, uh, <laughs> you can't write this. <laughs> Sunny days in the park. Look at this. Okay. A 400 pound bear splashing around in a 300 gallon tub. This is at the Oregon Zoo. That's what spring means for this bear, having a little fun in the water there. The overseer of the zoo's Great Northwest Area says he is, quote, quite a goofy bear. <laughs> He's been at the zoo since 2010 after being orphaned in Montana. I love it. It just looks like a lot of fun. Can't blame him or her. And some squirrels are practicing so like I don't know. Some squirrels are practicing some squirrels are practicing social distancing in Pennsylvania. What An is artist this? captured video of squirrels interacting with these little tiny sets that she made in her package. <laughs> Is that a laptop? It all started as a project for her degree, and she inspired by some children's books, and she wanted to capture the squirrels participating <laughs> in some human activities, Lindsay. If you guys can't see this, but Lindsay's cracking up on the other side of the studio just with an eye shot, and it's making me laugh. And I Don't blame me. Don't blame me. <laughs> by now, you probably know who you're rooting for yeah. in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the 49ers. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, maybe or, or not. Don't care, but yeah, it takes real sports pundits <laughs> to pick the winner mm -hmm. of this year's game. The staff at the Cincinnati Zoo thinks they're lions, cheetahs, and Fiona the apple. Fiona the <laughs> apple. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cold and I am going to have a cough medicine up the wazoo right now. Fiona the apple has the expertise. <laughs> Thursday, they all made their Super Bowl picks. The Lions picked the Cheetahs. The Cheetahs went with the 49ers. But look at Fiona confused everyone when she made a real statement on the Chiefs canister here. You're going to see it in a moment when she just up and bars uh, all over it. Oh, my gosh. Zoo's not sure if Fiona's picking the Chiefs or she's just simply disgusted with them. Probably just bitter that the um, Cincinnati Bengals didn't make the Super Bowl. <laughs> or that her song Criminal, that Fiona Apple won't be performing the y Super Bowl. Yeah, I know. Show. Fiona the Apple, man. I've got a great show today. You'll see here Big Mama okay, making okay. friends with us. Rance has the head. And <gasps> now, I'm sorry, Eden, over here. Oh my God, I'm I got in here. the leg wrapped okay, around me. I'm ready. He's so ready. Extremist <laughs> is a pet store right off. So today we have Sabrina and Steven to tell us okay. all about it. But first, let's remove Big Mama from yeah. my neck. <laughs> it's got like a death grip on my leg over here. 
All right. Just let you guys wrestle everything out to warm up your morning.